Hey hippies, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's Courtney Shivante here. I'm back with another banging resin tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use my silicone mold here to make a cute little keychain from start to finish. And I'm super excited because I'm gonna be doing something new. I'm going to be using this here nail glue to see if I can adhere a key ring onto my keychain because I know a lot of us already had this floating around. So if this is something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button, also hit the notification bell, and let's get started. Alright hippies, so to start out, you just want to go ahead and prep a little bit of a resin. You're really only going to need maybe about... Probably not even a whole five milliliters, but you want to go ahead and fill this mold halfway with the resin and then just kind of create a nice even surface using the stir stick to disrupt any bubbles that may collect around those etchings and everything just to make sure we have a nice placement for when we, um, you know, put our paint on later and everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that same stir stick. I'm just going to take some gold flakes here and dip my stick into the gold flakes and then just add it into the resin kind of randomly and everything and just have it poking around so that way I can still put a back layer on here. Then you're just going to let that cure. After that's had a chance to cure for a bit, you're going to go ahead and section off a little bit of resin into a cup. I'm going to be turning this a black color, so I'm going to be mixing in a little bit of mica powder here first. And I'm just going to add a little bit because you never want to add more than 10% colorant to your resin just to make sure it still cures. After adding that mica powder to make sure it's a nice opaque color along with um, that shininess that the mica gives, I'm going to add in a couple drops of this black alcohol ink here. And I'm just going to mix that in really, really well, making sure to scrape at the sides to make sure all the pigment is thoroughly mixed in. And then once it's mixed well, I can go ahead and fill this mold up and continue adding a nice even layer on here and then we're just going to allow this some time to cure and spray some alcohol if necessary. Once your piece is completely cured, you're going to go ahead and bend the silicone mold and pop your resin piece right on out. It should come out very cleanly. Pull off any excess pieces that are on there and then once you have it cleaned up, it's going to be ready to paint. You want to go ahead and just get a color that you like. I'm using white here and I'm also going to be using like just a regular paintbrush. I'm just going to push the acrylic paint into the etchings making sure that it's actually getting in there and it's able to actually hold the paint into the etchings. It's okay if it um, gets onto the smooth areas. It does wipe off very easily which I will be showing you guys in the very next step but you just want to continue making sure that you have a nice even coat of paint into those etchings. Like I said really really push in there and then allow this some time to dry. You want to allow it time to completely dry. All right, now that everything's dry, just spray that alcohol and then take your damp rag and then you can go ahead and start wiping away that excess paint. Make sure that rag isn't overly wet to where it's leaving like a trail of moisture behind because that means it's too damp. You want to make sure that it's just damp enough to pull off the excess paint. Make sure you have it cleaned up really, really well because we will be doing a doming layer next that will be sealing everything on in. Now to prepare for that doming layer, we're going to be adding a layer of liquid latex onto the backs of our resin pieces. So I'm basically just going to start by adding a nice little puddle onto the back of each one of these. Um, I have a couple of different projects that I'm working on, so I decided to just go ahead and cover them all with liquid latex at the same time so they'd be ready for me to work on. Um, but yeah, I'm just using my finger here because this stuff is non-toxic, it's completely safe to touch, and you just want to smooth it over the back and create an even surface so that way it will protect the resin piece from any drippings. 
that will occur from our doming layer and everything so just take your time making sure that everything is completely covered on the back um, it's okay if it drips off a little bit but try not to let it drip too much and then you're just going to allow these to completely dry of course Flip your piece over to the front and go ahead and prepare your resin. What we're going to do next is we're going to completely seal these etchings in by adding a nice doming layer to the surface of our mold here. So just start by adding a little bit of resin towards the middle and then just use that stir stick to kind of spread it out evenly, making sure that you don't add too, too much resin to the top to where it, you know, just starts dripping immediately. It will probably see some dripping, but you don't want it to see so much dripping um, you know as you're like starting to pour and everything after you have that clear surface allow that some time to cure Now that everything is nice and cured, we're going to go ahead and pull away this liquid latex. So just kind of pull that from the corner and as you can see, everything is going to come up nice and smoothly here. Um, just go ahead and take off any extra drippings and make sure to take off any little extra pieces of latex. Now this is the part that you've all been waiting for. I'm going to be applying this key ring and this bail using nail glue. Now I got the idea after doing the super glue method that I was showing you guys. Um, I was wondering if it worked because you know they do smell the same and everything at least to me and they work pretty similarly so I just wanted to give it a shot now this is like my kind of failed attempt I was realizing that it does work but it does not adhere as instantly as the super glue method so what I decided to do was I went back in and added another dot of glue um, I prepared my baking soda on the spoon put the bail into the glue and then from here I'm just going to sprinkle the baking soda on top of everything um, and adding a little bit more glue just to secure everything further and you're going to see me just kind of maneuver everything around allowing things to actually sit for a bit um, it still doesn't take too long it's still maybe about 10 seconds or so that it takes and then from here I'm able to kind of remove the excess powder now it is a bit lumpy just because I messed up but it is possible to get a clear adhesion and everything and now I'm just kind of cleaning this up using an alcohol wipe and also some alcohol spray just to get up all this extra baking soda that's sitting here and everything I'm just gonna try to clean that up a bit now um, after I get this cleaned up of course I'm going to go ahead and attach my key rings and my jump rings from this point. Ta-da! Here is our final project hippies. I love her. So if you can't tell exactly what it says, it does say somebody's fine ass mama on here. So this is for the moms out here, all our MILFs. I love how this gold flake looks with the black background. It's just so classic. This is how the back looks. I want to give you guys like an up close look of how that turned out on the back and kind of what it will start to look like. Um, but like I said, you can definitely get that cleaner. This was just my first attempt at it. I just want to show you guys how it turned out. But I'm going to go ahead and flip it back to the front and to the side so that we guys can see everything. Like just look at these colors. Like this black is super pigmented so I'm glad that you can't see through it. I love how the white looks on top of everything. It just kind of brings it together and looks very regal. If you guys are rocking with this keychain as much as I am, make sure you leave me a like, a comment, all of that. I love hearing from you guys. I appreciate your support so much. Until next time hippies. XO. Mwah. Bye now.